This episode of Weekly Weird News is sponsored by ExpressVPN and Bespoke Post. This year has been pretty rough for a lot of people who have found themselves out of work due to the coronavirus pandemic. But thankfully, back in March, at the beginning of all this, Congress passed the CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, an economic stimulus that authorized one-time payments of $1,200 to most Americans, plus an additional $600 per week for anyone receiving unemployment benefits until the end of July, mm. which has come and passed. Well, the virus <laughs> is over. So. Yeah. Uh, obviously, considering how long this pandemic has gone on with no end in sight, really, the CARES Act was not nearly enough, and another stimulus is pretty sorely needed. But it was at least something, and it kept a lot of people afloat, albeit barely, and also temporarily. Yeah, maybe it would have been a better idea to give $1,200 a month, not one month, to people in need, but mm -hmm. uh, well, what are you going to do? The government said it. It's got to be done, and that's it. That's all The free think. market has decided that this virus should ravage this country. Yeah. Uh, we've talked previously about what a bad person you'd have to be to exploit the CARES Act Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP, and that's what handed out big forgivable loans to pretty much every business that applied, regardless of whether their business was in any real danger. But up until now, we hadn't heard of anyone exploiting the unemployment aspect of the CARES Act. Well, meet L.A. rapper Fontrell Antonio Baines, a.k.a. Nuke Bizzle, whose most recent song and music video is titled EDD. Now, if you live in California, you may recognize EDD as the name of California's Employment Development Department, which administers unemployment benefits. So is Nuke Bizzle's EDD... Bizzle was literally committing what sounds like some pretty elaborate unemployment fraud and uh, bragging about it in this video. From the Department of Justice, rapper who bragged about unemployment benefits scam in music video arrested for allegedly bilking COVID-19 jobless relief program. From that press release, according to an affidavit filed with the complaint, Baines possessed and used debit cards preloaded with unemployment benefits administered by the California Employment Development Department. The debit cards were issued in the names of third parties, including identity theft victims. The applications for these debit cards listed addresses to which Baines had access in Beverly Hills and Koreatown. Evidence gathered during the investigation established that at least 92 debit cards that had been preloaded with more than $1.2 million in fraudulently obtained benefits were mailed to these addresses, according to the affidavit. Baines and his co-schemers allegedly accessed more than $704,000 worth of these benefits through cash withdrawals, including in Las Vegas, as well as purchases of merchandise and services. The affidavit further alleges that Baines bragged about his ability to defraud the EDD in a music video posted on YouTube and in postings to his Instagram account under the handles NukeBizzle1 and NukeBizzle23. For example, Baines appeared in a music video called EDD in which he boasts about doing, quote, my swagger for EDD and holding up a stack of envelopes from EDD, getting rich by, quote, going to the bank with a stack of these, presumably a reference to the debit cards that come in the mail. A second rapper in the video intones, you gotta sell cocaine, I just file a claim. Pretty clear-cut case. Uh, I wanna know who took the original Nuke Bizzle Instagram account. Yeah. He had to create one and 33. Mm-hmm. Sad. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you work for the DOJ, you gotta love when a case just Hands shows up you. on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, it also says that uh, when Nuke Bizzle was arrested in Las Vegas on September 23rd, just 12 days after the music video dropped on 9-11, he had eight debit cards just in his possession at the time, seven of which were in other people's names. So uh, sounds like they got him. Uh, he faces three felony charges, uh, access device fraud, aggravated identity theft, and interstate transportation of stolen property. And if convicted of all three, Nuke Bizzle faces up to 22 years in federal prison. The EDD of California. The EDD won't let me be. They need to copyright claim the video and take all of the funding, all the monetization. It has a lot of views. And yeah. uh, the likes. To keep going? Great like ratio. Um, so the EDD needs a copyright claim because they use their logo or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they get they take the monetization from the video. Yeah, it is a it's flagrant trademark. And they, the DOJ didn't say anything about trademark violations. But and it would pay back the, the fines eventually, hopefully. I mean, $1.2 million. That's like a billion views. <laughs> it really is. Well, go watch that video. Give it some more views so that when uh, the California EDD uh, comes to collect mm -hmm. from its trademark infringement lawsuit, they'll have more money. Exactly. There we go. And look, we already can hear you typing away or screaming at your monitor. Well, is that a cool crime? The answer is no. It's true that in a more just society, the U.S. government would take better care of its citizens. 
especially those financially impacted by events out of their control, like a global pandemic. That's true. And one reason, albeit a very overblown reason, for why this isn't the case with the, the main crime here. Yeah, and all of those people have to deal with a bunch of bullshit now because their yeah. names are used in fraud. Yeah. So no, this is not a cool crime. No. It has a lot of victims. Mm -hmm. Actual victims who, if nothing else, obviously they won't have to pay back this fraud on their name, but it just throws a wrench in their life. Yeah, yeah. You check your credit. Oh, I'm applying for a new apartment. Oh, my credit's tanked? Why? Yeah. It's because someone was someone buying a bunch of shit. Nuke Bizzle stole yeah. my identity? It's it's so dumb. Yeah. But anyway, here's a crime that does have a much better chance at qualifying for cool crime status. An 11-year-old boy in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who went on a little joyride last weekend, stealing a school bus and leading cops on a 45-minute pursuit across 13 miles, which ended with the kid crashing the bus into someone's front yard tree. Uh, along the way, he hit three vehicles, giving one person some minor injuries. Not super cool, but mm -hmm. we'd say that's pretty impressive, considering this was an 11-year-old child driving a 40-foot-long, 20,000-pound vehicle for nearly an hour while being pursued by over a dozen cop cars. Like, how well would you drive in that situation? Yeah, this must be a tall 11-year-old. A long boy. Yeah. Uh, the kid also reportedly taunted and flipped off the officers as they chased him, which, yeah, I mean, if you're going to steal a school bus... Five years before you can even legally drive. Why not throw in a little bit of fuck the police, too? Yeah. They're not going to add, like, you're a child. They can't add this on top of the sentence. Yeah. And he was rude to us. Mm -hmm. Of course he was. Uh, anyways, the unnamed kid is currently facing charges of theft of a motor vehicle, aggravated assault, aggravated flight, and damage to property. But he's 11, so what are you going to do? Send him to prison? No. Also, how the hell did an 11-year-old gain access to a school bus on a Sunday morning? Probably church. Yeah, it was just sitting there. Yeah. Taking the old ladies back to the care house. Yeah. Uh, how did his feet reach the pedals? I don't know. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. Maybe he taped some bricks to his feet. Could be. But for now, this seems like at least a semi-cool crime. Yeah. And he handled it well. He did. He drove that bus quite well. This kid's got the best street cred of... Uh... Any 11-year-old I can think of. And no one died, and it stopped because he had a tree. Kind yeah. of best-case scenario. Yeah. But he should get to keep the bus. So that is yours to keep. That's your bus. Mm -hmm. You drive it, you keep it. And also, you've already proven that you're a great driver. You're a school so bus driver now. Here's your Class B license. Yes. Yeah, that should be his punishment. Now he has to drive the school this bus. This kid could totally get sympathy if he was just like, officers... I just miss in-person schooling so much. Oh, yeah. This pandemic has ravaged my mental health. Donald Trump I would need, pardon him. I need the social interaction of my peers. And yes, I stole a school bus. Mm -hmm. But if only for a second to yeah. relive the life I once had, jumping onto this bus each morning, taking it to the place I love most, to school. study the books that I love. Yes. School. One plus one equals two, Mr. Officer. But I wouldn't know that. Not anymore. You're free to go, son. And <laughs> Thank you, you, sir. And you can keep the bus. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, anyways, yeah, not a lot of news this week, actually, weirdly enough. I mean, we've covered most of the news already yeah. last week. It's this all week is, election stuff. I was saying to Elliot, like, even with entertainment news for, like, news stuff, Donald Trump in this election has sucked all of the air yeah. out of the news cycle. It's had a chilling effect and on everything else. It's funny. Donald Trump has been historically very funny a the video last of him two or three dancing? weeks. Dancing? Yeah. And it's the, so fucking good. There's a photo of him in church from yeah. this weekend where he's like it's a very funny photo. Hey, look, they're praying for me. It he, the man, it's been comedy. Yeah, I haven't checked to see if there were any highlights from his rally in uh, Newport Beach where uh, the Beach Boys opened for him, but there's got to be at least something in there. It wasn't the main Beach guy, Boy, though, right? Well, Brian Wilson hasn't been involved. I'm pretty sure yeah. he's been iced out like legally. Mike Love the front man of the Beach Boys, total conservative, uh, yeah. loves Donald Trump. Um, also, just that's why I like him. His name, last name's Love. Notorious piece of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and Brian Wilson, the brains behind the Beach Boys, uh, is on the record as uh, saying he hates him. Yeah, good. So, well, but, I love uh, Brian Wilson. Yeah, I've seen Genius. him a lot. He's great. Genius. Anyways, um, before we get to the headlines part of the show, because that's, I mean, we just don't have a lot of news for you. Yeah. Hey, short episode. It's a short episode. Some of you have been asking for this for years. So. And now you get your chance. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Question. Which of my online searches does the government have a right to know about? Coronavirus, erotic fiction, drone with shotgun attached, Kellogg's blue waffle. Yeah, I search for a lot of weird shit as part of this job, and I would prefer to keep those searches 
uh, to myself. <laughs> so that's why I use ExpressVPN. Without ExpressVPN protection, though, hackers, governments, ad companies, and ISPs all have full access to your data. If you don't want them using your web history or video searches against you, do what we do and use ExpressVPN every time you go online. Yeah, ExpressVPN encrypts and reroutes your web traffic to any number of countries, keeping you safer and secure. Simply download the ExpressVPN app, click to connect, and boom, you're protected. With ExpressVPN, you can make it seem like you're browsing from a different country. So you can watch any Netflix library in the world that you want to. How cool is that? ExpressVPN is the fastest VPN we've ever tried. It costs less than $7 per month, and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No risk! It's time to stop governments and internet companies from keeping tabs on your data. Take back your online privacy like we have with ExpressVPN. Protect your activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash weeklyweird. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash weeklyweird for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash weeklyweird to learn more. This episode is also sponsored by Bespoke Post. This fall, as you get back into the swing of things, hopefully, uh, <laughs> Bespoke Post has a brand new seasonal box of awesome collections for guys and folks who like guy stuff, guaranteed to upgrade your life and at least bring you a smile once a month. You get, mm -hmm. you get to open something. Yeah, it's a nice it's a treat. a gift for yourself. They've got boxes that especially appeal to us, like a barrel aging kit for booze, a cocktail kit, and a very fancy looking one hitter kit for consuming legal substances only. But kits also range from travel accessories to tools to hygiene products and more. Whether it's gear to upgrade your autumn craft beers or cozy threads for when the temperature dips, Bespoke Post only sends the best stuff every month. No matter what you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. Uh, here's another great box that looks pretty damn useful. Uh for the months ahead of us as things get colder. The stocked box, which has all of the medicine essentials that you'll need in case you start feeling a little bit under the weather for a really great price. So to get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel any time. And each box costs only $45, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code WEIRD at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code WEIRD for 20% off your first box. All right, now let's get into the weirdest headlines of the week, starting with New York wedding with 10,000 attendees shut down amid COVID-19. I, like, yeah, you shouldn't be having big events, but I can't even <laughs> fathom. What would a 10,000, like, where would you even hold? You'd have to run out a, a, a actual, like, Stadium. Sports venue for yeah, that, like a like a and not even a normal concert venue. Yeah, a ginormous concert venue. Yeah, either ten thousand people is a massive amount of people. It's a a lot of people. Yes, like where where were we gonna? They, and they said they were gonna have it in Williamsburg, I think, in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's, like, it was a Jewish Orthodox wedding. Oh, place. was okay. Is that what it was? Well, because they invite the whole community. Yeah, still. Yeah, ten thousand too many. Especially during the pandemic. Well, I, I would just assume, like, the streets... I think I... Sorry, I glanced over the article. I'm so sorry. But uh, I believe it was a rabbi's son. And okay. that's why uh, everyone was invited. Cool. And it's like, you know, the, the, the streets. I'm, I'm sure it's like a whole event in the, in the area. Yeah. Okay. Well... And they've been doing a lot of protesting against Cuomo recently. They have. They've been, they've been claiming that it's, uh, it's anti-Semitic uh, mm -hmm. discrimination, that they have to wear masks and stuff. And it's like, well, your area has seen a ton of cases. So that's why we're asking you to... Put the mask Please on. put the mask on and uh, stop holding, like, in-person religious services. And uh, just try. Yeah. Just do anything. Nope. 10,000-person uh, wedding. Let's go! Cool. Yeah, don't do not do that. I, I, I did see, apparently, the, you know how the chain smokers have just become the official band they of, just don't uh, give a shit. of not giving a shit? Yeah. Um, this would be a perfect time for an actual DJ who hides their identity under a mask to be doing something. Yeah. Plus, you have the built-in mask. But what I'm saying is no one can give you shit for it in real life if mm -hmm. your identity is, is covered. Yeah. Uh, it's like a VPN for your body. I did see this clip I'm about to play of uh, someone driving past a chain smokers show. Oh, it's night. great. It's great. <laughs> are y'all dead ass? Y'all are risking your lives to listen to chain smokers? It's a pandemic. 
<laughs> it's a pandemic. Yeah, that's how I feel. like. Why you willing to die for it? the Chainsmokers? Is so bad. Yeah, it's like the shittiest music. It's not good. It's not worth dying over. And they yeah. just keep playing. They they got like a fine. The uh, yeah, they the motor keep, got like a fine. They keep getting busted because you can't do a chain smoker show and keep it a secret for long. Mm-hmm. But uh, I guess it's working out for them still. I guess. The, I saw the, the Flaming Lips did a, a cool show recently on like Colbert where they put. You know how the Flaming Lips they sometimes have those bubbles yeah, that yeah. they play. They just gave everyone in the audience a giant bubble. Perfect. Yeah. I saw a friend that went to one of those drive-in. Raves, mm-hmm. uh, like last night, but it was so, so funny because it's like it's it's in these big parking lots and it's obviously open air, like it's not yeah. inside of a venue. It was playing like hard style, which is just like boop, 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 like sitting super in your fast. car, just... <laughs> <laughs> and like it sounded just like that. And I'm like, I think it was in Ventura because I know that they have a stage set up there, and I'm just like. You could hear this throughout the entire city. It sound it would have sounded like if you didn't know what was going on, like an earthquake yeah. or a tidal wave is coming. I'm sure the residents were very freaked out by this, but uh, everyone looked like they were having a good time in their cars. Dodger Stadium, you can watch the games in your car. Yeah. Which I don't really get it, but it's funny because I listen to... see the fireworks, I guess. Uh, as an old man, as I'm leaving here when we filmed when they've been playing, I've been listening on AM radio. Yeah. And uh, the other night I was listening when Will Smith had a, hit a home run, and they go, and here come the car horns, and it's they have the audio from outside, and everyone's just laying on their horns when a big play happens. Nice. It's funny. Nice. Yeah. Next Anyways, headline. yeah, that, don't, don't gather in groups, please. Yeah, don't. Coronavirus vaccine could kill half a million sharks, conservationists warn. That's why Trump refuses to do anything. He loves, well, no, he hates sharks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's like, if we keep the coronavirus going, it's going to kill half the sharks. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of vaccines because the virus is going to be so out of control. It's we're also- going to need to kill all the sharks to get that. It's some ingredient in sharks that is absolutely- <laughs> Ingredient. Un- well, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an ingredient that's found in a bunch of other shit, but it, it's you can get it from sharks really easily, and they yeah. add it to vaccines, and it, it stops your body from having a immune reaction or some shit. Um, but yeah, there's like, you know, you want to develop a vaccine for every person on Earth. It's like 8 billion people. It's a lot of sharks. A lot of sharks are going to have to die. So they're, uh, these, these shark conservationists, these shark lovers, they want, uh, they want people to try out something else. Well, look, hey, we've been doing, right, a good job of not uh, doing the shark fins for like 20 years. Now it's time to, you know, yeah. we saved a bunch. We can use some for the vaccines, right? Yeah, That's been, how it works. We've been rationing sharks for far too long. Exactly. Time for a culling. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was just like uh, how the, the South, Park, South Park made the joke of like, once Trump figured out that it was actually just minorities dying from coronavirus, mm-hmm. he's like, what are we stopping this for? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Used coronavirus tests handed out by mistake in Birmingham. Oh, cool. Like the used condoms in Thailand. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, they used... I don't know how this happens. If you've taken the test, it's it's pretty standard everywhere, but you rub a swab around in your mouth and you break it off in a, a little vial yeah. and then you seal it up Then it's got your information on it and whatnot. Somehow some used ones got handed out to students at some university in Birmingham and like at least a couple of them opened it up and rubbed someone else's swab all up inside their mouth. Have you seen that video of like, a, it was like a Japanese uh, digitalization of spread of germs? And it's like, it's just showing people talking. It's like, yeah. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> but like the worst is like it, how it just dribbles out of their mouth all over their like clothes yeah. and stuff. Oh my God. We're disgusting people. Yeah. Humans, humans are just beasts. Yeah. Uh, next headline, BYU-Idaho deeply troubled by reports of students intentionally contracting COVID-19 to sell plasma with antibodies. You've been you've been speculating on this a lot lately. Uh, yeah. Well, people are fucking paying of, money. A lot of money in that young blood. People are paying money to get the convalescent blood. It's mm-hmm. not going to the people it should be going to because, yeah. as we all know, it's no secret that America is a for-profit medical industry. Yeah. So obviously, if there's some sort of protection out there where people are like, oh, you mean I can pay $1,000 and go hang out with my friend? Like, a lot of people in America are going to do that. I wonder how much a, a standard bag of blood you could sell for it if you have the, the antibodies. Buying convalescent blood on the dark web at 3 a.m. Yeah. Like, how, I mean, it's got to be worth it if people are doing this on I purpose. smell a new Nuke Bizzle song. Yeah. <laughs> Buying convalescent blood. Guys, I found a new grift. <laughs> Not defrauding the government. This one's perfectly legal. Probably shouldn't be. But yeah, uh, yeah you just uh, give yourself coronavirus and then 
you, you, you fight through it for a couple days. It's, it's no worse than the flu, they say. So. Literally blood bags in fucking yeah. Mad Max. Yeah. Yeah, we need to sacrifice the war boys so that the commander can live. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, don't do that. A lot, of, a lot of things not to do in this episode. <laughs> so, I, I feel like this show every week is just a, a a list and description of things not to do. Yeah. Machu Picchu opened up for a single tourist who waited seven months to see it. Some Japanese guy. He landed there in March. He's like, ah, oh, I've been I've been wanting to see this glorious ancient monument of Machu I'm Picchu. I'm not going anywhere. You tell Mr. Picchu that I will yeah. wait as long as it takes. You know how much a flight from Japan to Peru costs? I'm not going back. I'm going to wait this out. I'd rather wait here seven months than fly back 17 hours. Yeah. It's a pretty brutal flight. Well, they got but, to uh, see Yeah, it. they finally, like, after... I don't know what he's been doing for the last seven months, but the the, the government of Peru, they're like, all right. Well, you will, only you can come in. You can go see it. You know there's some Japanese guy waiting at the gates of Disneyland every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. leaving. Did you see the protests there this weekend? Yeah. 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 Gavin Newsom, open up my theme park. <laughs> <laughs> Police find cash hidden between Bolsonaro allies' buttocks. I mean, say what you will. The man makes great headlines, Bolsonaro. Yeah. Well, he's he's the anti-corruption candidate who uh, they just somehow keep finding examples of corruption within his inner circle, mm -hmm. including this guy. <laughs> my favorite was... Uh, the, the cash in between this guy's butt cheeks and the news story, there's like, yeah, it was soiled by poop. Just by the way, there was shit on it. We had to keep it. We had to keep it. And uh, <laughs> we couldn't just send it back to the bank. It had yeah, that's feces shit all, right. all over it. <laughs> Did we wash it off and spend it? Maybe. 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 You've all touched my ass. It's like ass pennies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of you. you Bel Bolsonaro has the upper hand because he knows that you've touched his allies' ass dollars. Doesn't matter what you say to me. <laughs> You've all touched my ass dollars. Mm -hmm. I have the upper hand. Detroit woman says she woke up to pastor peeing on her on plane. I went through a range of like trying to explain this to myself of how this could happen because I read the headline. I was like, all was, right, was, was this person just peeing themselves? It was sleep drugs. So I thought at first that like it was just a person sitting next to them and they felt it come over. Yeah. But no. No, he stood up and like treated her cock to eye. Her sleeping body like a urinal. Yeah. She was getting directly pissed on. Yeah, but it, but still it was apparently sleep drugs, yeah. which I can believe. Well, cuz yeah, even the people the, the people involved they're just like, yeah, he was dead in the face, just like Yeah. like didn't respond to commands. I have listen, Stop I'll admit taking it. that shit. I have been this close at least twice in my life that I can remember of almost peeing in the kitchen trash can. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're in the middle of a deep sleep. Yeah. We've all done it, right? I think I got drunk enough at one point in college that I uh, pissed in like a closet or something like that. Don't, didn't remember it. People, people the next morning were like, excuse me, sir. Yeah, uh, did, did you think you were peeing in a toilet? I'm like, I don't know. I was blackout drunk. Yeah. We have a story about a mutual you're friend who peed in someone's closet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> but, but drunk's one thing. But these sleeping drugs, I'm telling you, especially on like a plane. You don't like, want to do it. My friends, uh, w when I was uh, fly w working for bands, one of the guys was like, literally, they had to, he didn't do anything wrong, but they had they to restrain tie him. tie him to the chair? Because he just kept getting up and walking. He didn't do oh. anything wrong, but he wouldn't stay in a seat. And he was just zombie walking around the plane. Didn't know where he was or what he Jesus. was doing. Yeah, it was terrible. Don't, uh, like, I've said this before. Use, sleeping pills, like, be very careful. Use just... Melatonin, CBD oil, if you can. Yeah. Don't take uh, whatever the. If you're gonna take the Ambien or whatever, like yeah. you gotta do it right, and it's it probably helps to have uh, someone with you. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, New York City architect killed by falling debris in Midtown should have known sidewalks are dangerous, according to city attorneys. <laughs> Anything could happen on these sidewalks. These mean. Well, streets. you were walking on the sidewalk. What do you think's that right next to the sidewalk? A big stone building. You're an architect. You know. <laughs> you know that sometimes these buildings a little sketchy, you know? So uh, maybe you should have... Uh, they, they literally were there like, she was walking on the sidewalk with no protective equipment. Not even a helmet. It was like a this fucking seems like gargoyle a fell on this lady from 50 stories up. Yeah, She's this seems die like a pretty, regardless. pretty open and shut case. Yeah, like. this is just the New York, the city of New York being uh, absolute like, ghouls to this grieving family. Yeah. It's like them being like, well, yeah, sure. Rick Moranis got punched in the face walking on the streets of New York. What do you, but what do you, what do you expect? Street? 
It's the street. People get punched. Yeah. What's the big deal? Sorry, Rick Moranis. If you don't want to get punched, don't use the street. Yeah. Just stay at home forever. Never go outside. That's what they want. Those damn libs. Those damn libs. This is my favorite headline of the week. Homeless Jesus statue put on bench in Ohio. Someone calls police within 20 minutes. If you know anything about Jesus, like, you know, he's, he, he, said, he was a bit of a couch surfer. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, Jesus has got a lot of great lines about, you know, like how you treat the, the lowest of the low in society. Uh, you're, that's, you're, you're essentially, if you're being nice to them, you're being nice to Jesus. If you're treating homeless people like shit, you're treating Jesus like shit. So this uh, statue that's been going around to churches in the Midwest, uh, it, it literally just a bronze homeless person. They've got stigmata in their legs. Yeah, yeah, and, you can see the nails. And already. it's clearly a sculpture. Yeah. So uh, it is funny. Yeah, within 20 minutes, someone's just like, uh, hello, 911? There's a homeless man A sleeping. homeless person exists. Yeah. Man, that's Not Jesus doing Christ. anything. Literally not doing anything because it's a statue and it, it can't do anything. It would have been hilarious. They were like, oh, he's abusing me. Ow. Yeah. He's hitting me. Bring the guns. He's making threats. Yeah. They, they just shoot up the statue. Yeah, they, the bolts go ricocheting yeah. back into them. Yeah. He shot me. A lot of people, people need to just, uh, like, what, where do you, you want the cops to come harass homeless people. Where do you want them to go? They have to go somewhere. Like, very short-term thinking. Yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I hate to break it to you, but these people want them to go to jail. I guess. Or like a fucking concentration camp or something. It's a big, like, Republicans in California, when they run for office, like the loser that's running against Adam Schiff right now, all those billboards are like, California is filled with homeless people. Adam Schiff doesn't do anything. I'm like, okay, so are you proposing like better social services? Uh, we're sending them to Idaho. <laughs> it's like, well, what do you? What is your solution to this? Because no, every, we're gonna get rid of them. Everything that's like been actually shown to have any positive effect on homelessness is directly antithetical to your platform as a Republican. So what the fuck do you want? We're gonna get rid of them. We're gonna kill them. Yeah, that's that's what they want. Kinda, they yeah. Can't say it out loud. Yeah. Man attempting to resurrect grandmother accused of causing $30,000 in damages to Knoxville Cemetery. Yeah, he really went to town. He didn't just try to dig her up. He was... Well, $30,000 Swinging around some sort of... Yeah, he was, he was breaking other people's headstones. It's like a bull in a china shop, except the china shop is his local cemetery where his grandma's buried. Didn't say what his plan was. Like Once she was resurrected? Yeah, was he going to do like a... All right, Grandma, sort of welcome hex? back. You got to wear a mask, though. Probably going to give her some of that Regeneron. Brings people back from the dead. Yeah. It is a horrifying name. Regeneron. Yeah. Scary. It's, yeah. Regeneron sounds like a drug from a, a, a dystopian movie. like sci-fi. Like a Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah. Mm, Regeneron. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Delicious Regeneron. Mm. We all eat it every morning. And final headline. Elon Musk cuts Tesla Model S base price to $69,420. Whatever. Wow. What a cool 50-year-old man. <clears throat> he did Someone, it. There was a wow. tweet this week. Epic. That, uh, someone like dunked on him so hard. It was great. It was just like, it was something like, oh, do you main Torb in Overwatch? And he was like, actually, yeah. And he goes, loser! Something like that. It was just fucking hilarious. Like He actually responded and this guy just like dunked on him. It was, it was uh, you know, a little bit of humble pie never hurt. Uh-huh. But yeah, it's like, I don't, who cares about it's this? It's just dumb. It's like, who are you impressing with this? Yeah. Teenagers? They can't afford your cars. It's just, I don't know. I can't imagine owning a Tesla. I feel like it would be just a constant, like, embarrassment. Yeah, no, it's shameful to own one now. Because, like, on paper, they're great cars. Yeah. Um, but the guy who's responsible <laughs> for it is a piece of shit. The face of the company. And literally, they fired their entire PR staff at some point in the last year. So the only way to get public comment about anything is, like, to directly email Elon Musk. He is the, literally the face of the company now. And he's doing shit like this. Making Mi- 69 fortune. Not to bring him up again. 50 years old. Mr. Beast replied back and was like, well, I guess I have to get one now. It's like every time I'm just like, oh, God. This guy does a lot. Look, Mr. Beast does a lot of good. A lot of charity. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, he gives people government money yeah. from, that he got from the payroll protection plan. But he's, he's, he's quickly ascending into an echelon of people that are all very bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I he's hope that he's smart enough to go. Yeah, he's he's a, he's I think his intentions are in the right place. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, But we'll wait for and see. For now. For now. Cuz I swear he's going to fucking do something with the army. I can feel it. He talks to them too much on social media. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we hope that he stays in the good place. Anyway, that's enough weird news for this week. There really there just was not a lot of it. Um yeah. so 
And probably the next week, there's either going to not be a lot or it's all going to be related to some dumb election shit. Yeah, I we got, know. look, it's two weeks. It's two weeks left of the, uh, it, uh, the election shit. God damn it. We're trying to get through it just as much as you are. Bear with us. We'll be back with more, and we'll see you soon. Uh, in the meantime, please watch our other episodes over here. There's weird news in both of those because there was weird news that was time sensitive. So just check yeah. those out if you want more. Yeah. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do it, and we'll see you soon. Bye.